Hello, in this video I'll show you how to set up your piece by simulation profile. And there are two things I need to change in this schematic, something I missed in the schematic check. Do you know what they are? It has something to do with the net alias. Okay, so the first of the two things is the net alias. Notice that I gave this net name FB and V out is also the net name. Now, normally by itself, that's okay. You can give two different net names to the same net and then piece bias or cat capture will choose the net name that is alphabetically ahead of the first one. However, this is a problem for this specific circuit because I also gave this net the same name, feedback. So what does that mean? Well, if you didn't know, what ORCAD Capture does is it shorts or connects any two nets that have the same name together. So what that means is I'm actually shorting, I am making a wire that bypasses this resistor and connects it here, which makes the resistor network, this RF1 resistor network irrelevant. And this V out is showing up directly on the 20K ohm resistor. So that's a very huge mistake, very important to take note of. And that means we want to move our FB node or net name here. Now you might have noticed that earlier and wondered why I put that FB there. And that is just a mistake on my part. But a very important one to notice because that would that changes our output signal significantly. All right. The next thing that was an error, and you might have seen it already, is that our VN has no actual voltage coming in from anywhere. It's not anywhere in the circuit. Okay, so that's really important. And let's place a VN. So go to place part, choose VDC, and then select it from the source library. Double click on there, place it right on your schematic. Now this VDC is going to need a ground. So copy ground symbol from here and then paste it under your VDC. There's a red dot that's showing up here, but I think that's just a glitch in the visual. So scroll down and scroll up. Yeah, there we go. Now let's place a wire from the VDC to VN. Okay, V1, we can change that name to VN just to make it very clear. And then double click on zero VDC, change that to 3.3 VDC. Why 3.3? Because that is based on what the reference design says, 3.3 volts. This can vary by about 10% plus or minus, but we'll just leave it at the nominal voltage 3.3. Okay. I think the circuit is ready to go. Those are just some last minute changes but very, very important changes that neither the DRC picked up nor the initial schematic check picked up. So I have to be very careful. <clears throat> All right, let's go to piece by new simulation profile. If you don't see this option, that's because your project type is not the correct type. So you would go to your project tab, right click on your design and change project type is what you would do. You could choose piece by analog or mixed AD and then it'll show the piece by option. So go to piece by new simulation profile and we will change this to, we'll name it transient. And I created a simulation profile already with the name transient. So I was complaining about that. All right. Once I've done my piece by simulation profile here, transient gets pulled up and you get this window where you can change the settings. Now you'd have a thousand nanoseconds or something, but change it to two milli, two milliseconds. That's sufficient enough time for this circuit, the switching circuit. 
And how do I know that two milliseconds is enough time? Well, that's determined by the period of this chip. The switching period is 2.5 microseconds. And two milliseconds seems appropriate for that switching speed. Usually the um, settling time is sometime something like 10 or 100 times greater than the switching period. Uh, at least 100 times usually. Uh, on the order of 1000 times or so. For a switch mode power supply. Alright, the run to time then is 2 milliseconds. No maximum step size, click apply. Then click OK. I think everything's set up here, but there's one more thing I need, which are some voltage probes to look at the V input and the V out. So go to P spice markers, voltage level, set that to V in, and then put another probe on V out. Right click, choose end mode. Next, go to P spice again and hit run. Cross fingers and hope this works. Okay, if you're not really seeing anything on the uh, window or screen here, you can go to your taskbar if you have Windows taskbar, or go to this here if you have my setup like uh, parallels with. Um, Parallels with capture installed and uh, an incoherence mode. Okay. All right, there we go. Once you click on the piece by size icon in your taskbar and it finally shows, you can see the simulation progress going. So we're getting up to 16%, 17%. In an ideal world, this simulation will work without any hiccups, but this is a switch mode power supply. So you might get uh, uh, this thing, P spice runtime settings. In a lot of switching power supplies or switch mode power supplies in P spice, it might have issues with converging to a solution. This is where you would check mark auto converge and change some settings based on your needs. Click OK. We won't change any settings in this situation. Just choosing auto converge is fine. Click OK and resume simulation. And then the rest of the simulation should run just fine. Okay, we have about 55% more to go. So you can go take a quick tea break or coffee break or something and come back when it's done. All right, the simulation is done and look at this. All right, V out is above five volts. So it's not even just the five volts It's a little more than that. Let's see if you click on zoom area here. We're actually looking at between 5.2 and 5.4 volts for the V out and then V in hit the zoom fit button here. V in if we zoom in is 3.3 volts just like expected just like designed and zoom back out here to zoom fit that is exactly what we want great job great job that is how you simulate a boost converter in p spice so we just close this window and uh yeah this is good i think i'll add a title here hit t on the keyboard to add text and we'll name it boost converter change the font Arial, and change the font size here to 24 click OK click OK and place 